All right, news from India now. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman today presented the union budget. Interestingly, the new budget extensively focuses on technology. In a speech that lasted around 87 minutes, Sitaraman mentioned data 10 times and technology 4 times. Let's see what the new budget has in store for the tech sector. There is a big focus on artificial intelligence. Three centers of excellence will be established in top educational institutions across the country. It is part of the campaign called Make AI in India. The aim is to establish a strong artificial intelligence ecosystem in India and to train skilled AI professionals. Data governance is another key area. The government will roll out a new data governance policy. This will enable access to anonymized data. It will help startups and academia unleash innovation and research. Digi Locker is a key initiative under Digital India. It's an online storage facility that lets users safely store their documents in a digital form. Much like a physical locker that houses a variety of important papers. Now the government will expand the scope of documents available in Digi Locker, which means Digi Locker will now support more documents. This will enable more fintech services to access and leverage the platform. In other words, fintech platforms in India will soon be able to use documents available in the Digi Locker to authenticate users for access to financial services. Next on our list is 5G. 5G services have been introduced in many parts of India. The government is now planning to create over 100 labs for developing 5G applications. Apps related to smart classrooms, precision farming, intelligent transport systems and healthcare will be developed at these labs. And there is more. The Indian government is planning to boost the production of smartphones and televisions in India by incentivizing manufacturers. The plan is to provide some relief to both smartphone and TV makers by reducing customs duty on some key components. This comes as a big boost to the electronic sector. It could also help in bringing down the costs of final products. Also, as we know, there has been a significant push for green mobility. The government has announced measures that could bring down the prices of electric vehicles. Surprisingly, cryptocurrency did not find a single mention in this year's budget. The new initiatives sound promising, though it remains to be seen if they are going to help India in driving its technology agenda and improving the country's digital infrastructure.